I've got the Idiot's Guide to Magic Tricks. You see this right here? See this nice big book? This isn't even a book. This is a giant deck of playing cards. Why is that there? Phoebe Bridgers, Scott Street. I'm subdued today, guys. This is not a song for over-the-top energy and enthusiasm. This is a song for quiet contemplation and introsp introspection. Am I right? We're in standard tuning, but you are gonna need a capo on the third fret. I'm using a Kaiser Quick Change capo. I've got the Amazon affiliate link. I feel like I'm saying that too early in the video. I'm gonna chase everybody off talking about my affiliate links. But anyway, let's learn the song. I would like to focus on really getting all the details of that main part just right. Just the way that Miss Phoebe Bridgers herself plays it. That is her name, right? I'm saying it right? I, I think I'm, I hope I'm saying it right. We gotta start with the G chord, guys. It's almost a normal G chord, but not quite. Middle finger, third fret on the top string. Your pointer finger's not gonna do anything. However, I would like your middle finger, in addition to playing the third fret on the top string, your middle finger's just gonna lean over a little bit and just touch the A string, the second string from the top, and just mute it. Then, your pinky plays the third fret on the bottom string, and your ring finger plays the third fret on the second string from the bottom. So we've got middle on top, then these two guys down here, and that's it. The other strings are open. These two fingers down here, ring finger and pinky, they're just gonna live in that spot for most of the song. So they need to get comfortable and get cozy, get conditioned. On this G chord, which is actually called a G5, you're gonna strum down, 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 up, down. Uh, down, 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 up, down. Play it with me. Down, 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 up, down. The direction of your strumming is crucial, vital. Down, 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 up, down. One more time. Down, 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 up, down. So good. Now, at this point, we need to switch to another chord. We're gonna switch to a D sus chord. Here's how you do that. You get rid of your middle finger. Your pointer finger is gonna play the second fret on the third string from the bottom. Now an extra little optional thing, I take my middle finger and put it on the second fret of the bottom string. It doesn't actually do anything there because your pinky is in the way. So your middle finger is not affecting the sound However, this is how Phoebe Bridgers plays it. I almost just called her Phoebe. That seems wildly inappropriate. I do not know her nearly well enough for that. She goes and puts her middle finger down on the bottom. I Basically, just because in a lot of situations, you're gonna end up going to a regular D chord and you wanna have your middle finger ready to go. But in this song, it doesn't matter that much. So this was a complete waste of time. Uh, we're on this D sus chord. One more important thing, you must take your thumb up over the top of the neck and just touch the top string to mute that top string. You can actually keep it there for this whole main part of the song. The top string is muted. On this D sus chord, you're gonna strum up, down, down. That was just up, down, down. Out of context, it's weird, but check this out. We're going G, G, down, up, down, up, down, down. See how I would do that up, down, down with the D chord? Like I, Just like I said, it was all part of the plan. Let's play this whole first part, G to D, together as a pair. One, two, more like a team. There's more than one of you. I hope there's more than one of you out there. One. Two, and a one, two, here we go. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. A little slower for the folks in the back. Made no sense. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Oh, so good. At this point in time, you're gonna go ahead and get rid of your pointer finger and your middle finger. Keep your ring finger and pinky there on those bottom two strings and just strum down up. Also keep your thumb up on the top string here, just muting it like we said before. That was just down up. 
Uh, let's do one more chord, then we'll do another little review. So after that down up with just these two fingers, you're going to strum down one more time. But immediately after that strum down, you're gonna hammer on with your pointer finger onto the second fret of the D string, the third string from the top. So the hammer on is where you strum, or you could pluck an individual string, but in this case, we're strumming. And then you just take your pointer finger and you just go bang. You don't re-strum the strings. You just go bang. I'm just hitting it. I'm firmly trying to use the tip of my finger, smashing down right on the second fret of that third string just like that. Guys, we are halfway through the main part of the song. Isn't that exciting? I'm so excited. So let's start at that halfway point. Last thing we learned was you had these two fingers down here on the third fret of the bottom two strings. Your thumb was up over the top, muting the top string, and we did a little strum down, and then we did a hammer on on the second fret of the third string from the top. At this point, you're gonna strum down up on this same chord, and then you're gonna get rid of your pointer finger and strum down. So that was down, hammer, down, up, get rid of the pointer finger. Hey! Hammer, down, up, open. Let's do it, let's do it three times together. One, two, and a one, two, here we go. Down, hammer, down, up, open, here we go. Down, hammer, down, up, open. One more time. Down, hammer, down, up, open. So good. Then, this is crucial, one of the key elements of the song. We're gonna put the pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the top. Keep your thumb up here, meeting the top string, and strum up, down, up on this chord right here. On this, on this chord right here, we're gonna strum up, down, up, is what I'm trying to say. Watch, watch, watch! Hammer, down, up, open, up, down, up. You see that? Let's do it really slowly together. Just, just one time, you're getting it. I don't need to do, we don't need to go through it 15 times. We can do it once, okay? One, and two, and a one, two, here we go. Down, hammer, down, up, open, up, down, up. Yes, I'm so tempted to do it another time, but I'm not gonna do it. After that up, down, up on this chord here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna strum down one more time, but then with your middle finger, hammer onto the third fret of the second string from the top. Now here's something to think about. When you hammer on your middle finger to that third fret on the second string from the top, just keep your pointer finger here. You don't, it's gonna be tempting to pull your pointer finger off, all that does is it gives you more stuff to think about and it gives you the opportunity to mess up the timing and screw up this whole thing. So that was a little hammer on just like that. Just like that. Let's play it from this hammer on right here. And this is, by the way, guys, I didn't tell you, this chord here is like an A minor seven chord. And then this chord here is like a G over B chord. And then this chord here that we just hammered on to, it's like a, it's like a C sus two, guys. Get with the program. Taking it from that A minor seven chord. One, two, here we go. We should do that one more time. That was, you did great, you did great. No offense, but we should do it again. One and two and a one, two, here we go. Oh yeah, okay. Almost there, almost there, guys. We just did our hammer on on this C sus two chord. Then you're gonna strum down up on this chord. And then, are you ready for this? You're gonna get rid of your pointer finger. You're gonna strum down again, hammer on to the second fret of the third string from the top and then get rid of your pointer finger and strum down on that chord again. That was that was probably the most confusing way I possibly could have explained it. Look, did our, we got our hammer on here, then down, up, get rid of the pointer finger, down, hammer onto the second fret on the third string with your pointer finger, then get rid of your pointer finger and strum down again. That was like this. 
Is that, was that it at all? That was confusing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hammer down, up, hammer down. Yes, that, okay, I did it. I did it now. Are we okay? Are we all okay, you guys? Hammer down, up, hammer down. We finally did it. Hammer down, up, hammer down. That's what I've been trying to say this whole time. Wait. That was it. One more strum, one more strum and we've done it. You're gonna get rid of your middle finger and strum up one more time. Let's do that, let's do that slowly together. This, is, this last quarter of this part got, this last few minutes have been rough, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm going through, at this point in the video, I'm just, I'm going through a rough patch. I'm going through a rough patch, but I think we can work through it. I think we can do this, okay. Hammer down, up, hammer down, up. I flipped it with my dipstick, guys. It's getting very messy up here. I have all these nice books down here. Oh, this is kind of ugly right here, but that's okay. But I got all these, this up here, it's so ugly. Look, I've got like solo guitar playing, the, the recording engineer's handbook, all these nice music books, and up here, I've got the Idiot's Guide to Magic Tricks. You see this right here? See this nice big book? This isn't even a book! This is a giant deck of playing cards. Why is that there? Okay, I think that's enough explaining the notes. Let's play that entire introduction, which also is the verse. The verse and the intro, they are one in the same. Two sides of the same coin. I don't know what that expression means. Nice and slow from the top. One, two, and a one, two, here we go. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, and hammer. Then it just starts over. I guess that's the one thing I didn't really talk about at all, is getting from the end. just goes right back to the G as if we never even left it. So we do the hammer down, up, hammer down, open, down on the G chord. Guys, that's the intro, that's the main part. It's hard, you have to play through it like a gazillion times. I know there's so many ups and downs and open strings and hammer-ons, but I have faith in you and you can do, you can do this. One more thing I wanna talk about. When you're strumming for this song, what I have found works really well for me is that I don't aim for all six strings. When I'm strumming, I actually aim for the middle two strings. What happens then is I'm keeping it all loosey-goosey, so I always hit some extra strings, which is good, but I wanna make sure that I'm not hitting the top string too hard. I also don't want this bottom string to just be ringing out loudly the whole time. So I'm just aiming for the middle two with my strum, but I'm being really loosey-goosey, carefree and fancy free, all kinds of free. And I'm just, and I'm just, I'm just letting, let my, my, um, didn't have any way to end that sentence. That wasn't necessary in any way, shape, or form. Now that you mention it, there actually is one tiny difference between the intro and the verse. And in the intro, she plays through that whole thing once, totally normal, exactly how we just played it. Then she plays it the second time. She starts totally normal. Everything's exactly the same until we get to the very end. She does our little C sus2 hammer on thing, our little. Remember that? Kind of, maybe sort of you remember? Once you hammer on your pointer finger to the second fret of the third string from the top, keep your pointer finger there. So we're gonna go hammer down up, great. Then you're gonna strum up again, and then get rid of your pointer finger, strum down, hammer on. That's confusing, I know, watch this. Uh, 
whatever. Guys, it's not gonna make that much sense. This part's weird. Do, do whatever you wanna do. Uh, after you strum that hammer on, then we're gonna strum down, up, down, then get rid of your pointer finger and string a strum up, down, up. Look, let me just play it for you and then we can forget we ever had this little conversation. So we go. I'll do it one more time. One more time. One, two, nice and slow. There, now we're done with the intro. Forget it, don't even play that part. I don't even care. I don't even care if you played the song at all. I would, I would rather you didn't play this song. How about that? Now we have to learn the chorus. Chorus is easy. Chorus is easy. Keep your middle finger, no, come on. Keep your pinky and ring finger on the third fret of the bottom two strings, just like we did before. Have your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. Keep your thumb up here meeting the top. On this chord, you're just gonna strum down, 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 up. That's what we're gonna do on every chord here. So we just go down, 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 up. Then get rid of your pointer finger. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Down, 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 up. So we went from like an A minor seven to our C sus two. Then take your middle finger, move it up to the third fret on the top string, G five, down, down, up. Then we go to a D, D sus four, where that's where you bring your pointer finger to the second fret of the third string for the bottom. Middle finger, if you're in the mood, it can go to the second fret of the bottom. We strum down, down, up. Then we go back to the A minor seven, which is where you put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. But on this one, we're gonna go down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So we play it twice as long. We do that twice. That's the chorus. Let's go ahead and play the chorus together both times through right now, starting with our A minor seven. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up. Middle finger, down, down, up. Up to the G, down, down, up. D sus four, down, down, up. A minor seven, down, down, up. Do it uh, again, then start over. A minor seven, C sus two, a G. Us four, then A minor seven, twice, and then. And we're just back to the verse, guys. Okay, great. We're almost done. I'm so excited to be done. I'm almost done with my electric lights. And guys, I hope you're drinking your electric lights. Uh, believe it or not, I'm drinking salted caramel flavored electric lights. They're probably gonna give me cancer. They taste weird, but for some reason, I want to keep drinking them. Anyhow, any hoot. We play through the verse. You got the, okay, look, you got the intro, then you play through the verse. You play it like 27,000 times. Then you play that chorus, then you go back to the verse. You play it 26,000 times, slightly less. Then we go back to the chorus. The second chorus is the same as the first one, except for one difference. At the very end, so we play through the A minor seven, C, G, D, A minor seven. A minor seven, C, G, D, but then instead of going to the A minor seven one more time at the very end, we're gonna go to this very cool chord, this C major seven sharp 11 chord, pointer finger, third fret on the second string from the top, ring finger, fourth fret on the third string from the top, keep your thumb muting the top string, but the bottom three strings are all gonna be open. I'm going like down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. We stay on that chord for a while. You can strum more if you want. The strumming here is not really important as long as you're feeling the rhythm of the song with this C major seven sharp 11 chord. Finally, we're at the ending. This ending we play so many times. Quiet and contemplative. Whew, bringing it down a notch. Here, let me play the ending for you because it's very cool, very hip, very keen, very, Commander Keen. One, two, three, four. It's nice, right? It's nice. It's gonna be a good time. Pointer finger, third fret, top string. Ring finger, fifth fret on the second string from the top. And the bottom strings, 
It can be open. We're just nice and gentle. We're gonna strum down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Play it down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Great. We do that strumming once on this chord. Then you're gonna get rid of your uh, what a pointer finger, and then this is where some of you guys are gonna be a little upset. You wanna bring your thumb up and play the second fret on the top string with your thumb. That's how Phoebe Bridgers does it. That's how I do it. Now, if you really don't wanna do that, what you can do is you can put your pointer finger on the second fret of the top string, pinky on the fifth fret of the second string from the top. It's up to you, I don't care. Phoebe Bridgers might care. I personally, as a person, do not care. Boom, chicky, picky, bang, bong, then a boom, boom, chicky, picky, bang, bong, then we're going to go to this guy. This, this right here is pointer finger, third fret, second string from the top, ring finger, fifth fret, third string from the top. The rest of those bottom strings are open. If you can, keep your thumb meeting the top string, or you can just be careful not to play the top string. I'm not too worried about it in this situation. We're going to strum down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Then just take your ring finger, slide it over to the fourth fret. This was our C major seven sharp 11 chord. And then we repeat. This is a G6 chord, by the way. And this one is like a, it's like a G over F sharp. This is a C major seven. And this is our C major seven sharp 11. Hey! Ow. Okay, well, I hurt myself, so the video's over.